In this video, we will go through the procedure of adding an optical material to a DGTD simulation. Adding a new material always starts from the material section of the design tab. This is where you can get access to the optical material database and the new material button. The first step is to create a list of materials that you would need for your simulation. To do this, Open the optical material database by clicking the corresponding button in the design tab. This database contains sample data for common materials from various references. Select your desired material from the list and click create. A material with the same name will be added to the list of materials in the objects tree. You can repeat the same procedure until you have all the model materials you need added to the simulation. Any material added to the simulation from optical material database will be listed in the objects tree under the material group. You can rename, edit, or add properties to the model materials listed under material group. There is also another way to add a new material to your material list. In this method, you can first click the new material button under the design tab to add a new material under material group with no property. Then you can add optical properties to this material by right-clicking on its name and selecting Add Optical Properties. This will open the optical material database and from here you can assign any available optical property to the new material you just created. The last step of adding an optical material to your simulation is to assign the model materials to your geometric objects. This can be done from the Material tab in the Property Editor window of any geometric object. You will notice that only the model materials listed under the Material group are available in the list to choose from. In the next video, we will learn the importance of material model fitting to the sample data for accuracy in simulation.